um, a con like a fashion convention. So we're going to be talking about fashion accessories, how you can make them for yourself and stuff like that. I'm just gonna get set up with, um, you got get set up with them. So just give me one minute. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're going to record this. Hopefully that works and doesn't slow down my computer so much. Oh, I'm already lagging. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm going to wait for people to get here. Yeah, so I have a bunch of things set up and ready. You know what, I'm not going to record because it's slowing everything down. I can download after. Thank you, Twitch. <laughs> Making it way easier for me. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're going to be talking about making stuff, I'm making stuff right now. I'm pretty excited about what I'm making, making stuff for a commission. Look, I painted, I'm going to paint eight of these little horses. They take freaking forever. They don't look like they should take forever, but they do. <laughs> they really do. So, that's fun. I got them in all the different colors. All the colors of the rainbow, because I love rainbow. That's just me. So. I love you. I love all my monochromatic babes too. So, yeah. We're just waiting for panels to get started. Dancing and waiting. It's raining outside, which I'm very happy about because it's been blistering hot for the past. I don't know how long. Long time. It's been hot for a while. These clips are hurting me. I'm going to take them out. These clips, I love these clips. I got them in Japan, but I feel like I could find them elsewhere. It's those little things. It's the little things that you can't find in America. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't find a cute star clip in America. I tried. Maybe I should try Claire's. Claire's in Japan is like way better than Claire's in America. Maybe I just haven't been to Claire's in America for a while. Maybe I should give it another chance. I shouldn't make such harsh judgments. For <laughs> I hope the lighting is okay. My, uh... I'm gonna message my friend. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, the, I, yeah, I'm sorry. The lighting is really washed out. I don't know. I keep trying to fix the camera settings, and it keeps not taking the settings that I give it. And I can't find where to fix more settings. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can turn the light around, but then it's just, like, really bad. Let's see? It's like, well, actually, that's, I mean, that's pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. That's better. But then it, then it, then it moves up. Hi guys! <laughs> We're trying to figure out lighting, some logistics. So, <laughs> I am Yvette's niche. Nice to meet all of you. Um, I, you can, you can go like, exclamation point, insta. Yes, thank you so much. So let's all thank wonderful, all the wonderful people that hosted this and put it together because I very much appreciate it and I know you guys too. It's like a great, I don't know, relief from isolation to be able to hang out with all the fashion friends, hear other people talk about their passions. I don't know. I love it. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I look kind of like trash today. <laughs> I think I look better on camera than I feel. I feel awful. This is like really early for me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, thank you for the follow, dear. Okay. Today. <laughs> Excuse me while I have my morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I, um, I don't really consider what I do cosplay as much because I kind of think of it more as like avant-garde, like fashion or like original characters and stuff like that. But I mean, I don't mind calling it cosplay. I think cosplay, I think cosplay, the term has broadened. 
Like, I think it used to mean just, like, dressing up as your favorite anime character. And I think the term is, like, brought into more creative things. So, I love it. Love creativity. This panel. This panel. <laughs> Getting, anyway, I appreciate your compliment. You're amazing. Love you. Um, this panel is going to be basically my plug for creativity in fashion. Um, I think a lot of us love brand, and I love brand. I would snort and do like pretty off of mana stick. It's fine. Um, <laughs> love brand. I think it's beautiful. I spent hours and years and years and years perfecting their process. But I think there's a lot to do in terms of making your own accessories and stuff like that. So I'm going to talk about, thank you for the follow. I'm not going to thank everyone for the follow. I don't want to interrupt. But usually when I'm streaming, I thank you for the follow. And I thank everyone in advance who decides to follow me, no pressure. <laughs> uh, I do 3D printing and like working on all my fashion and costumes on stream and um, sometimes uh, talking about stupid stuff. <laughs> so anyway, so um, so this is going to be just a plug for making your own accessories, making your own like fashion, how you can do it easily, cheaply, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to start with, uh, what am I gonna start with? I'm gonna start with something easy. How about that? So I, I made this headdress for, for myself. I'm going to be going over there getting stuff from my table. Hope that's okay with you guys. I got to move this chair. So I made this headdress. It's a very over the top, I think, for a lot of fashion purposes. Um, but it was very, very easy to make. And you can do this super easily. Like I got this, I bought this dessert tray. I ended up cutting... <laughs> I cut the trays into fourths to resize it to be smaller, but they have smaller sizes. Like, stuff like this is really freaking easy to make, and I think that I miss the days of, like, the early, like, Gothic Alita Bible and the early, like, Fruits Magazine, and people would just, like, put stuff on their head. <laughs> that was, like, my jam. <laughs> so, yeah, stuff like this, like, I... I, I um, had a silicone mold for the macaroons, but they also sell, like, they sell little macaroons that were supposed to be chapstick. Um, yeah, they sell them for super cheap on eBay, stuff like that. Um, these desserts, you can, yes, Lita Bible was everything and super creative. Yes, I loved it so much. I loved the wonderful shoots, everything. It was just, yes, yes, yes. So, um, these desserts on the bottom, um, they're very, very easy to make, um, and let me show you a very easy thing to do. Okay, so if you want to make some fashionable dessert accessories, if you don't know this already, I'm talking really fast, you guys. I gotta slow down. I get nervous and, like, start talking really fast, and then everyone's like, <clears throat> this girl is slurring her words. Is she drunk? Just kidding. Okay, I'm not. I have my morning juice, but it's not alcoholic, I swear. Okay, so here is an example of what your alcohol. Lol. <laughs> Thank you for appreciating my weird humor. Um, so here, my lighting is very strange today. Um, so here is a final product. It looks kind of looks kind of bad. All my nicer nicer ones went on to what I was making, but um, here's an example. So this is called caulking, and it is used um, on like tile. So whenever you put tile down, you put this in between in like your shower. It's like that white stuff, if you don't know. This is a super cheap thing to use. And when it comes out like a paste, kind of like toothpaste, and then it dries to be like hard. So you can make it look like whipped cream. You can make it look like desserts. You can make it look like, what were the days of those like phone cases where they did like, they made it just look like a cake? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I think they use silicone and like more advanced materials. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yes, yes, yes. Those days. You can make accessories like that. Like you put like a little strawberry, you make your um yeah, you make your own little like brooch and stuff like that. This is super cheap, super quick, super easy. You can make desserts and make it like super OTT. <laughs> or you can make like little tiny brooches and stuff like that. Um yeah, hair clips put it on your shoes. I, I did a lot of them where um, where I like put put a bunch of it on and then put a strawberry in the middle. So that was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, not as real strawberry, of course. They sell like 
fake strawberries on on um eBay, Amazon, whatever you want to support. Um, I used silicone caulking with, yes, 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 exactly. I never used the silicone caulking. I, this is the, this is the fast dry latex. I get the fast dry. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let me turn off my phone. Sorry, everyone. Did you do? I'm so popular. Just kidding. I'm selling something on Facebook marketplace and those are, that's the notification. I'm not popular. Okay. <laughs> so, caulking. It's a great thing to get if you want to make cute, <laughs> go make cute little accessories. Um, yeah, I highly recommend. Uh, let me put this down somewhere. <laughs> okay. And the next thing I'm going to talk about, because I think it's a good segue, is, um, no, I did not make my dress. Actually, I did. I did make this dress. I it was a, it was a vintage dress. <laughs> it was a, it was a vintage dress that I like upcycled and like rearranged. Um, yeah. So here's a macaroon. It's pretty rough. <laughs> um, I think something that is. Thank you. I think something that um, it'd be great if my dog is squeaking on her squeaky toy. Fetch. Go fetch. Okay, I think something that is we should do more as a community <laughs> is make giant like props that we can put in our little like in our in our shoots. <laughs> put it like against our mirror just so we look like we're in a candy wonderland. Honestly, like this was really easy to make. I got um a sheet of styrofoam and I cut it out with um <laughs> live for props, live for props. Oh my gosh, Meadow Coon! Hello, hello! Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think that these, this is really easy. Um, I got a sheet of styrofoam from Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you go for your home improvement needs. <laughs> Little do they know, you're kawaii as fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got a thing of, of a sheet of foam. Um, I cut it out in a circle. Yeah, and then I shaped, I like sanded down the sides to make it rounded. And then this stuff that's on the sides, it's super easy. You just need, um, you need self-supporting foam. It's this stuff. It's like gap filler. Come here, puppy. Go fetch. Go fetch. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I have little tiny puppies, and they just like need constant attention. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is self-supporting foam. It comes out, like, it comes out, here, I made this, like, three-tiered cake, and it comes out looking like icing, and whenever it, like, dries and, like, cures, it's, it's, like, it's hard, and it's really great for making, like, sweets. Dog cameos. Well, well the, the, dog, the puppies will come in in a minute. Um, is there anything smaller you would recommend? Some of us have smaller li living spaces and have a lot of stuff. Yeah, you can totally make this on a smaller scale. Like, you can make a macaroon, like, this big, you know? Live the dream. You can make a small cake. Um, you can, like, I, I got, I got um, some little plastic cups, little tiny ones, and made, like, little cupcakes. Yeah, I have a lot smaller accessories coming. I just thought I would talk about big props because we're talking about caulking, and now we're talking about self-supporting foam. So this stuff is really great. Hardware store is your best friend. <laughs> be creative. You, I, I don't know. I used to walk through the hardware store being like, hmm, what can I make with this? What can I make with this? I always felt like Ron from that one, like, gif that's, like, on the cart being like, I know more than you, but I'm like, I'm more kawaii than you. <laughs> Not really. I respect the people that work those jobs. <laughs> so, yes, this comes out looking just like, just like this. It looks just like this. And then on the inside, there are two halves, but I'm just going to show you the inside. Um, yeah, so I just put a bunch of it in the middle and then stuck them together. Um, yeah, so it comes out just looking like this. And then whenever you, you paint foam, I recommend using acrylic paint. If you use spray paint, you need to prime it with, like, Plasti Dip or something. Um, you can look up how to paint foam. But if you just use acrylic paint and, like, paint over it, then... Yeah, you're good. You're golden. I did I did a slight dusting of my airbrush to give it some texture you can't really see in this lighting. To give it like dark around the edges, but you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. I don't think it was worth it. <laughs> okay, what's my next thing that I want to talk about? Here's my silly cake. I love my little cake. It's fine. 
I have this addiction to oversized props. Like, I have a huge button and a huge, like, spindle, and I love it. I don't know. Part of me just always wanted to be Thumbelina. It's fine. <laughs> I'm still mad that I'm not Thumbelina. It's fine. Um, what, did, what paint did you use to paint the macaroons? I spray painted it. Like, I used a Plasti Dip and then spray painted. But if you just use acrylic, because if you just spray paint foam, it'll eat it. It'll just, like, dissolve the foam. <laughs> Um, but if you just use like regular acrylic paint then like you will be fine you just need to like brush it do several layers so it doesn't like have any streaks stuff like that okay um I'm at oh grandpa I'm so sorry you want to come say hi grandpa come here come say hi say hi say hi cream puff say hello you're famous say hi mom okay all right <laughs> Um, I'm going to talk about something that I failed at for just a second. I'm going to get into easier stuff, more complex stuff. I have a lot of stuff to do, but one thing that is a failure that I did, um, was this hat. <laughs> so I tried to make it, like, on the plane to Japan, <laughs> and I used hot glue for the buttons, the buttons, the eyeballs. Some squeaking uh, for the eyeballs, and because they have wax on the back of them, they just all fell off. Like they were just like, "Goodbye, we hate life." They just like jumped off my hat. Like, oh, no more. Um, I don't want to be worn by this crazy woman. Um, <laughs> so, and I had to like go into Japan, being like, with like no Japanese, being like, "Glue, do you have any?" I'm so sorry. I don't. Wakarimasen. Like glue. Do you have any glue? Um, yeah, it was a bad time. So. I recommend um, Google. You gotta use Google, and I have an example of what you need right here. There's this great website. Hi. There's a great website called This to That, and you can just type in the two things that you want to glue together, and it'll tell you the best glue to use. It's a very good resource. This to That. I also, like, you could just Google it too, but like, This to That is like such a cute name. You gotta support, right? Anyway. <laughs> There's, there's hashtag not sponsored. Um, yeah, so this was unfortunate failure. Um, yeah, so I would just like, yeah, E600 glue is pretty much what I use for um, plastic. Yeah, so I would say, I would say I should have used, so my favorite glue is this super glue. It's industrial strength super glue. And it comes with like a little, where did my catalyst go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so if you, if you, you should get this and this catalyst. Um, basically, it will super glue literally anything together in like five seconds. So you put the glue on and it's industrial strength. I have it in my Amazon um, down below. If you like click my little Amazon picture, you can go get this. It's in like making stuff, I think is my folder. Um, if you want to support me. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a gap filling super glue. It's insecure. So you put it, um, yeah, it glues to basically anything. So it, it's not like regular super glue where you need to have like a perfect like connect like a perfect flush bond. It's just it's really strong. Uh, you put it in, it will fill up the gaps, and then you take this catalyst and you squeeze it on, and it instantly cures. Like it'll instantly be glued. So I use it whenever I'm like at a con or I'm like you know like at a like fashion show and I need to like work like right the second. This this will glue anything together. This will this will do it. <laughs> Anything. So I highly recommend this. It's in my description. It's a trade secret, if you will. Okay. So on to gets really toasty though. Be careful. Very true. Do not get it on your fingers. I mean I have, but don't do that. Don't be me. Don't be me. Okay. <laughs> um let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, um, a couple like easy things. So I think that um, I would just love to see. Yeah, it's a it's an exothermic reaction, so it does get toasty. Uh, yeah, don't be scared though. It's not that it doesn't get like boiling hot. So um, these are shoes I made a long time ago. Um, a little gummy bears in the back. I think that we should put like let's let's <laughs> let's all put more like cute stuff on our stuff, you know what I mean? 
I think that that's just like a really easy thing that you can do. I got just like a, I went to eBay and got a bunch of like rainbow gummy bears, like fake plastic ones, and was like, where can I put these? You know, I just want to gummy verify <laughs> so many of my things. So here's just an example of what you can do. Um, you know, um, here is, so whenever you're painting stuff, just, uh, you know, some of, some of you, I'm sure, like veteran makers, um, some of you are not. Uh, reminds me of a regular choice, but probably more affordable. Yes! So I got these boots. These are like super not Lolita. <laughs> I did not make, I actually wore these at RuffleCon though, so, but, <laughs> um, I know this is like a more of a fashion Lolita thing, but you can do this to like more Lolita-able shoes, um, but this, this was like a, like a pleaser heel. I like being tall, you guys. I'm like 5'2", so I'm, I'm like ace. I'm asexual, so I don't think of like tall heels as sexual. <laughs> Sometimes it goes over my head. Um, so I got this like pleaser heel, and then I put the glitter on, and I did the gummy bears, and I think it's cute. Um, uh, it reminds me, uh, do you use resin in your projects? I do, I do. I do use resin in my projects. We're gonna be talking about easy ways to use silicone molds in just a second. Um, let me do some cheap stuff, like easy stuff first, and then I'll get into more complex stuff. Yes, hello, yes, yes. You wanna walk on candy? Yes, walking on candy, that's the best thing, right? So I recommend getting, like eBay is a great source for getting random crap, like, like plastic strawberries, plastic gummy bears, eyeballs, things that you can just make it your own. We should all make it your own. Yeah, while I'm talking, why I say this, um, after my panel, actually, yeah, after my panel, I'm gonna drop my Facebook group in the Discord, if that's cool. Um, I have like a group that's for any fashion, any wearable thing. Um, it's like non-specific. Uh, it's like just, it's called wearable art, or like walking art, wearable art. Um, so I just made a group for like anyone who wants to like, do whatever, it's totally accepting space. So if you guys are interested in that, check the Discord after my panel. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs are like having zoomies over there. Okay, let me talk about one more, a couple more things. So yeah, speaking of resin, both of these things um, use resin. So this is resin printed. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about 3D printing, just really quick. Like, if you don't have a 3D printer, that's totally fine. There's lots of resources you can use. So this strawberry was 3D printed. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's super cute. Um, there's two types of printing, just like while I'm talking about this really quick. There's filament printing, which is just like basically a glorified hot glue gun. It goes around, builds up layers, done. That's basically what I have. I printed these. See, this could just be like a scepter, like on the end of your little scepter. And wouldn't that be cute? I'm doing this for a commission, but <laughs> um, at the end of your scepter, I do commissions, by the way, if you want to commission me. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is totally like fashion, like fashion able. You can wear this as a necklace. I 3D printed this myself on my printer. However, there is great, there are great resources online. Thank you so much for dropping my group. Yes, yes, yes. I have poly printer. Um, that's the printer I have, Polyprinter 229. But you can go to your makerspace or you can go to Shapeways. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Shapeways really quick. Ooh, whoops. Uh, show you my window. Uh, Shapeways. Shapeways, they will 3D print anything for you and then they will ship it to you for pretty reasonable prices. Um, yeah, this is what I recommend, Shapeways. I don't even really need it to load. Um, but, yeah, so 3D printing on demand. I also do 3D, okay, look at that. <laughs> uh, Shape is awesome, really easy to use. I also offer 3D printing services. Sorry, I don't mean to just like plug myself, but you know, you gotta hustle, it's the hustle. <laughs> I offer really cheap 3D printing services. You can also PM me, um, but I only have a filament printer, which printed this, and then I primed, painted it. Yeah, a lot of public libraries have 3D printers. Yeah, you can, you can do, whatever and like um look up if you want to do some 3d printing you should look at thingiverse oh i gotta show you guys come on you know if you're not like a 3d modeling like wizard that's totally fine you can look at 
thingiverse.com. They have like all of your 3D model needs. And you can also like, you can totally PM me. You can just like, you can PM me um, and ask me like whatever questions you want. I respond to all of my PMs. Um, as for right now, <laughs> uh, but I respond to all my PMs <clears throat> for as long as I possibly can. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. So I can help you. I can help you make this, and it'll be very easy, very affordable. Yeah. Um, so this is resin printed. Um, I do not have this kind of printer. Look at look at the details on this. Look at that. It's just freaking gorgeous. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. I do not have a resin printer. My friend does, but. Shapeways, you can resin print. Um, if you do, if you want more detailed little accessories, um, I did a bee themed like fashion thing, and I'm like through Shapeways, I resin printed like tiny little bees. Um, it's high high quality printing. Like look at all of this like detail. Like you can get super detailed, make little earrings, little fashion accessories. It's a great resource if you want to like customize. Like if you have a print that's I don't know. Like, if you have Wonder Cookie and you want to, like, literally make, like, Wonder Cookie earrings, like, exactly like the print, you can do that. You can do that. The world is your oyster. Let's do it, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah. So, this is resin printing. Um, so, this, this is a sheet of PVC. So, this is, like, more complex making, um, but it doesn't have to be, like, out of your purview if you really want to make something like this um, you can get just like PVC sheets from Home Depot Lowe's you heat it up with a heat gun and you can just like shape it into what you want you cut it shape it you can try as much as you want it's like cheap it's like mediocre really cheap stuff um, yeah so all of these details are um, resin uh, made with molds that I'm going to talk about now um, yeah, PVC sheets. So it's just like a, it's, I have one in here. I almost spilled my mango juice. Not my mango juice. Okay, so here's a piece of a PVC sheet. Um, the sheet that the fork is made from is um, obviously much thicker. Um, so this is a thin one, but if I just take a heat gun to this, it like will melt and shape. And then you can shape it into whatever you want. So like if you want to make like a little hat for example let me show you my hat that i made out of thermoplastic can you guys hear my dogs just like freaking out <laughs> okay so here's my little hat that i made um uh, you can get pvc from regal plastics yes 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 regal plastics there's also you can go to your local plastic supplier there's one like in every city usually hey puppies it's okay come here my puppies are like freaking out. <clears throat> okay, so here's I'm. This is this is a design based on Besta Hesta's design. I did not design this prop. I designed all my props, but I do not design this <clears throat> one. I just really saw it, and then she was out of stock, and I was like, "Are you gonna get it again? Are you gonna make it again?" And she's like, "No." And I said, "Okay, well, if I make my own, can I pay you for it? <laughs> like, I'll just make it myself, and then I'll give you money. Is that okay?" <laughs> Uh, and she gave me permission to make a replica of her item. So this part, the like, this part is um, PVC sheet. Um, so it's just this stuff that I cut and then heat formed. Usually you're supposed to like, I'm not a milliner. I don't know, Mil milliner, Mil millinery, Mil I'm not a hat maker. So usually you're supposed to use interfacing, but I wanted it to be like hard, I don't know. I, so <laughs> it goes on like this, I love this hat. I love it to death. So yeah, you can make you can make hats and stuff, whatever you feel. These are also thermoplastic. Yeah, thermoplastic. The world is your oyster. Seriously. Yeah. So let me see what else I have on my table of wonders. Um, oh, I was gonna talk about a silicone mold. Okay. So, um, for the fork, I got these silicone molds. They, I got them on eBay. They're super cheap. You just have to like look up filigree silicone mold or whatever. <laughs> um, filigree like or cocoa. 
you know, my fancy, like, cake mold. This is actually for, like, what's it called? Fondant. You're supposed to, like, push fondant into it or something. But it's silicone, so it works for anything. So on my fork, like, I used, like, on the fork it's made of silicone, and I used silicone for, um, like, my cake dress and stuff like that. Um, my fork, uh, my friend made it for me because uh, I ran out of time. <laughs> I was going to make it, and then I was a bad planner. Anyway, so... Um, I plug his his thing, but he does not take commissions. So I will make you a fork if you want me to. Um, I can do that. So if you don't have resin, resin is a pain in the ass. Um, if you're just like a fashion enthusiast, you don't want to like get resin, have to like wear a respirator, all that bullshit. So a great resource to use is hot glue. <laughs> I use hot glue a lot um, in silicone molds. You just like squeeze it in. You want to make sure it's like a high temp. If it's not high temp, you need to like purse it in. But just use high temp, like squeeze it in, you know, and then um, after you take it out, you can like use the hot glue tip to go around the edges if there's any overflow. But yeah, and hot glue, it works perfect. It's cheap, it's flexible, it's durable. Um, so yeah, this silicone mold is like five bucks or less. Hot glue is super cheap. You can make like this filigree could be a really pretty like headpiece, you know. Um, if you're if you're into the like whoop, zip tie crown trend, you could put it onto that. They make smaller ones. Mine are downstairs. They make smaller ones. You could put it on that. You know. So I recommend hot glue, and then you can paint it with gold paint, and it looks just like looks great. Looks like it could be resin. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So I recommend getting some of these if you want to make some cute accessories. They're on eBay, Amazon, whatever. Super cheap, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, so zip tie headpieces, they were they're super fun. This is like level up if you want if you liked <laughs> if you like zip tie headpieces, you might also be interested in all of this. <laughs> Here's another headpiece I made that was 3D printed. Um, I made it a long time ago. Um, it's a carousel. It's a little bit over the top for some fashion. Um, but you can make it smaller if that's your jam. Hot glue is a fashion blessing. Hot glue is a fashion blessing. Never be ashamed to use hot glue. Some people are elitists about everything. If they're elitists about using hot glue, you can hot glue their lips together, okay? <laughs> Just kidding, I do, not, I do not condone violence. But seriously. Okay, so this is 3D printed. Yeah, um, this is on Thingiverse. I didn't model this. I mean, I model some things, but, like, if I don't have to, I don't. So many things are on Thingiverse. Use Thingiverse. It's great. So I just 3D printed this. You can 3D print this at your local library. You can paint it. If you, like, I have, I have, um, so many, like, Carnival Circus, like, prints. I think I have, like, two, three different Carnival Circus prints. I love the circus. But, yeah, you can, if you have a circus print, Use this. Yeah, if you're doing your J Fashion stuff at KatsuCon, take it to the next level. Put gems on this. Put silicone silicone stuff on this. You are doing better than me already. <laughs> my dog's just knocked over my fork. How dare you, puppies? It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. Okay. Just a, a quick tidbit for... Hello, Kevin. Um, I see that you specialize in OTT sweet looks. Do you have any customization tips for gothic classic looks? Um, we're not going for candy or teddy bears. Any suggestions on decorative themes? Where to work with this fine display? Yeah, all of this stuff. So I'm just, I'm talking more like on how to make stuff. Um, like I think that silicone, like this is super like classic looking. Um, this, hey, shh, shh, shh. Um, this is super classic looking. Um, yeah, if you if you're going more for the like zip tie and you can like put this on it, um, use you know different types of silicone molds like this like this one I use as an example. It's actually you can't really see that well. It's actually a very detailed. It looks like crap because you can't see the details. It's not painted yet. It's still this hot glue. But if it was painted, you would see that it's a very like complex, really pretty like frame pattern. Um, and you could put this like as a brooch, something like that. Um, all of these things apply to all styles. Like, I make a lot of OTT sweet stuff, but, you know. Um, yeah, you can you can use all of these methods. I just want to instill in you, like, I want to show you the tools you can use. 
and what you do with it is totally up to you. So, yeah. Speaking of something more classic E, here's my little like 10 minute wing head piece. I literally just used some wire and then glued some like feathers onto it. Oh, 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 what is this? What just happened? Oh, props used for the outfit. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I don't know what those links are, but I trust, I trust that they, it's storming outside, you guys. Lots of thunder, lots of thunder. Okay, yeah, florals, coffins, locks, keys, yes, they have silicone molds for all of those things. You can 3D print all of those things. Um, all of these things are good for, you know. Uh, so, I made this. I'm going so fast, but I'm going to run out of material. I guess I have an hour. Um, these are my, this is my wing headpiece. I'm not super proud of this. I made this, like, super quickly, super last minute. I just used, like, wire and put it on. But I think it looks pretty, like... It looks pretty cute for how long I spent on it. Um, speaking of things you can use if you are into classic is this gold leaf. So I just used spray adhesive. Woo, I lost a flower. I told you it's not great craftsmanship. Okay, there we go. Um, sorry, you're gonna hear storm outside. Um, so yeah, this gold leaf, I'm going to get some gold leaf and just show you guys how beautiful it is. It's fine. Um, so here are, here's some gold leaf. Um, here's some silver leaf. Let me show you guys. So this, I just used some spray adhesive, um, some like, GM like you can get it at again Home Depot Hobby Lobby and it comes in like a sheet It comes like this um, And what you do is you just need to open up one little thingy madoop And you got like a sheet of gold. It's actually very affordable <laughs> shockingly um, It's like eight dollars for like a ton of sheets like you can get it on eBay like a ton of them And they're it's like paper thin. It's like way thinner than paper actually it's super delicate, super light. Um, so as soon as you stick it onto anything, it like basically sticks. It's edible. You can eat it. You can use it for cooking. I have. I made truffles with it. Yeah. So super great. You can you can silic uh, you can use gold leaf on your hot glue molds if that is your thing. You just need to spray it on, stick it on, and then you just need to use like a little brush. And brush off the excess after the after the spray adhesive is dry. You can get gold leaf at Michaels. Very true. You can get it there. It's cheaper on eBay, but yes, if you prefer to shop local, even though Michaels is like a huge business, if you prefer to not have to wait, get it at Michaels. Um, so yeah, there is that. Look, I, it already stick. It stuck without even using any spray adhesive. So it's um, you will get it all over yourself. Just a warning. But I also use it for makeup and stuff. They also have silver leaf. You can kind of see I got some silver in here. It's very pretty. Look at that. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. If you if your your gold paint is mediocre, this is like just as expensive and it looks way better. So yeah. So that's that's how I made um this gold stuff right here and I, I put some of it just like in the flower just you know like put little little things on it live the dream um I actually also here's an example of a silicone mold that I put hot glue into and then put spray adhesive on and then gold leafed looks pretty nice I have a mistake right there don't look at that <laughs> I have a four I have like a five foot rule I follow, I, follow, I follow the five foot rule. I'm oh, sorry, puppies. I follow the five foot rule to like to the letter. It's very near and dear to my heart. Okay, so um, another thing that this is just a really simple example. If you're painting stuff, masking tape is your friend. 
Masking tape is your friend's. Use masking tape. It's Or use, like, painter's tape is what I mean. So, like, I painted these shoes for, like, a circus print thing. And then, you know, you just, like, put tape and you can paint. And even if you're not an amazing painter, you got clean lines. I am not a clean person. I am very messy. My paint jobs are very imprecise. But look at these lines. Look at them. Pig proud. Um, there are mistakes on the other side, but I won't show those to you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, it's just it's just a little old. Anyway, so masking tape is your friend if you want to paint anything. Um, it's like very like I I like masking tape I used for this like masking tape for everything like for this strawberry you know you don't want to hand paint the 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 stem and then hand paint the strawberry you want to tape it off paint one tape it off paint the next one you know stuff like that. Let me see what else to do. do. Um, here's an example of more shoes that I painted. Um, they're not very fashiony, but you know, what is your oyster? I put bells on the on the on the laces. I feel like that's a thing that should happen more. I love having bells on my shoes, bells on my toes. Um, here is. <coughs> another easy headdress that I made. I don't know. I just like to put stuff on my head. Yeah. Here you go. It's uh, you can just fly away with these. They're, they're really, um, lightweight. I got these, I think that these were Dolls Kill, but I got them used. I do not support Dolls Kill. I got them a while ago. Um, anyway, but like there's lots of like th ways that you can make this. Actually, you can, you can make these yourself. You can make these wings yourself if you use, like, a, a laser cutter at your local makerspace. Or there's, like, this, like, circuit cutter that you can use. Um, it's just, like, you give it the vector file for the vector file on Thingiverse, and then you can cut it out. You just, like, sit, stitch them together. You can make this. Like, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> PM me if you want me to tell you exactly how to make this. Um, yeah. It would just it would just be a matter of using a circuit cutter. I'm sure they probably have them at libraries and maker spaces. Um, yeah, they're also like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. The material is vinyl. Um, it's like PVC vinyl. It's a yeah. It's like um, yeah. It's like the it's like a PVC vinyl, like used on used on. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so there's like a iridescent layer and then like an outer layer. You could just like, yeah, you can just Google iridescent vinyl. And then you can Google circuit cutter and that would, that's what would cut the pattern. But you can always really get into it and use a, like a, a X-Acto knife and like really live the dream and be super into it, be super dedicated. And if you do that, then that's really good for you. <laughs> I am lazy. Work smart, not hard. I should work harder. You guys, I need to work harder. Yeah. Um, what else? Okay, here's just a cute little thing I bought, and I put little things in it. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, like put stuff on your head. Um, these were shoes that I carved from wood. These are really rough, you guys. <laughs> these are the first pair of shoes that I made. Hello, Scotsman. I am doing well today. Thank you. These are the first pair of, shoes, pair of shoes that I made. So if I made this, and I made this when I was, like, a freshman in high school. They were, like, really ugly. But if I could do this then, you can do it now. I took these, like, old shoes from Goodwill, cut off the heel, and then silicone glued them onto a piece of wood that I carved. You can do this too if you wanna if you wanna live the like what's the Jer Jeremy Jeremy Cluck, Jeremy what what's the what's the brand that has the shoes <laughs> the wooden shoes you can live the dream um yeah I don't know anybody have any questions I went way faster than I thought I would we have like twenty more minutes I have a lot more things that I can talk about if nobody has any questions let me look around real quick oh. I have some things to show you online, on my web browser. My computer is like, is very, very temperamental, so we're going to make sure that this works. Hold on, 
I'm going to sit down so I don't have to like. Vanel Westwood. Yeah, I don't know why I thought Jeremy Campbell. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aspen Witch. Any magical girl scepters? I haven't made a magical girl scepter yet, but like, you can do it, you know? This is 3D printed. You can 3D print your magical girl scepters. Um, I don't really do any, uh, this question is, any new Overwatch or WoW cosplay ideas coming up? I don't really do cosplay again, so um, I don't really have any plans on cosplaying, um, but I do original designs. You can see them here um, in like fashion, so you can see what my coming up plans. My coming up plans are a Salvador Dali piece and then a sandwich thing, <laughs> a high fashion sandwich. I'm excited. Um, anyway, so let me show you some eBay hacks real quick. So these are, hi, <laughs> these are um, hoop skirts that I use religiously. I buy these all the freaking time. Um, so they're super cheap, super affordable. Like look at this, it's like 15 bucks. This is like really cheap and affordable. This can like level up your like cost, like your, your costume, your fashion game, like whatever, like 100%. So I got these little like, um, you can't see my cursor. Whatever, the things on my hips, sorry, the things on my hips, I'm struggling with this. It's actually right, right there. The things on my hips, little, like, bust the, the, what do they call them? They're like Rococo style, the two little things on the sides. Got them from eBay, spray painted them, glued some flowers on, and that is the entire thing. I made this in, like, an hour or less. So, you can do this. Easy. I'm going to take a drink because my throat is drying up. Okay, yeah, you can do this, super easy, super cheap. Literally, I spent like less than $40 on this and less than, less like two, three hours. So yeah, paint, painted the little, like the little cage skirt pieces and got that made super fast. What is this, what is this tab? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, here's another example of the, the un, unpainted um, crin steel cage pieces. I This was again RuffleCon. <laughs> I missed RuffleCon you guys. I'm so sad that it that it closed. I don't know what happened. I don't know about the drama so I'm sorry if it's like if it, something horrible happened. I don't know but I, I did the makeup for the rent fashion show there several times and I, I miss it. Um, so yeah here's just the little and this is a little scandalous for RuffleCon. But <laughs> Um, yeah, here's the little cage pieces. Um, what is this? I pulled up a bunch of tabs that I wanted to show. Not, like, to show off my work, but just to show what you can do. Um, here's another cage skirt that I made. I, like, did light at the top, and then I did, like, a medium pink, and then a dark pink. I just wanted, like, an ombre. I don't know. Glued some flowers on, called it a day. Really easy, really, like, simple. I know, and, like, it didn't really go with my sugary carnival print, but I should have made this into a scepter instead, but I didn't have the, the materials at that point. Um, oh, that's just my Instagram. JK. Um, hold on, let me, let me follow. Yeah, I love these. I can go overload on those crinolines. Yeah, the, that's what they're called. That's what they're called. Um, oh wait, let me go back into your Let me go back into the messages, I'm sorry. Um, okay, okay. Um, where did you get the zip ties from? I got the zip ties from Walmart. <laughs> zip ties from Walmart, painted them gold, put it on my head. Uh, did it really take you five hours to make that infinity mirror? Um, that infinity heart mirror? Oh yeah, that's downstairs. Um, it took me a long time. Yeah, it took me, yeah. Yeah, my friend helped me, but yeah, it was a 3D printed case. Um, they're talking about something that's that's downstairs. Um, maybe I can show you guys if you want. Um, this thing. This little heart mirror I put on a corset. Um, yeah. Hey, I put on a corset. Uh, yeah, it took me a while because I, I bought like an infinity mirror but ended up being like this big and it was just like so big. So I made like a smaller one. And then this mirror stuff I got, it's just like, 
It was like plastic sheets that have like a mirror finish, so they're not sharp or anything. I cut them up, glued them on. Um, oh, another great resource on eBay that I totally think we should use more of is um, um, I don't know what search terms I should use. My computer's so slow. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> Hold on, wait, let me let me just see if I can find it. It's it's like this stuff right here. I can post a, a link to what it is. I, I don't know exactly the search terms I should use, but they're like chandelier pieces. What can I search? What can I search? Hold on, let me look at your messages first. Um, um, the melty one. Um, what melty one? Oh man, I should be looking at your messages first. Um, yeah, better look at my Instagram. Um, yes, go overlord on the crinolines. Yes, is that how you pronounce it? Crinolines? Yeah. It's like a bustle. Yeah, it's like a bustle. Bustle. Yes. I don't know how to spell bustle. <laughs> Me neither. Pocket hoops if you're looking at historical examples. Yes. Ha ha ha, ask Poovy about BarfleCon. Oh no. Yeah, I heard that they, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to gossip. I don't want to gossip. Scandalous is on the theme for WrestleCon. <laughs> oh my God, more like disastrous. You guys. Oh no, I heard about the simplicity thing. Yeah, that's awful. Yes, yes, that's awful. I love making the designers pay for shit. Other fashion shows just be like a clothing rack. Thanks, you guys. That's awful. Um, where do you start when you make an outfit? Do you start with a main piece or prop accessories? Um, great question. Uh, I think I start with the concept, and then I kind of think about what I could put on it, what I could wear. Thank you. Thank you for the proper spelling of bustle. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I think I just, like, come up with the central concept, or I start with, like, if I'm doing like a like a Lolita like based outfit, I start with like the print if there's a print, or yeah, and then I think of like oh what could go with this like what like what can I like oh so I'm doing I have like a circusy print like I'll make circusy things you know or like if I if I'm using like vampire requiem or whatever I'll be like oh I can make like some of this kind of stuff you know I usually start with like a base and then then do the accessories. Have I ever made a Marie Antoinette boat hat? No. The closest I've made would be this devil hat. Whoa. Ah. It would be this devil hat. It's not really boaty. Yeah. Um, uh, how did you get into making these costumes? I don't know. I was really into Japanese fashion growing up. Like, I was, like, an everyday, like, Lolita. Like, I was, like, a brand whore. <laughs> like, I... Hat. I was like closet full every day, every single day, like brand accessories, Lolita. And then I kind of like wanted to start like branching out and doing my own stuff because it kind of got repetitive to me. I don't know. I just always really liked making my own stuff. Um, you know, but if people are happy like doing like wearing stuff that other people made, that's awesome. Like, you know, support artists, do what you love. But I don't know. Just for me, I just wanted to branch out. I wanted to experiment. I wanted to make it my own. I wanted to be unique, like express myself in a way that I couldn't do other people's things. Like it's like trying to use other people's words to express myself. It just wasn't, it didn't feel like a complete picture. <clears throat> yeah, if that makes sense. A Melty Salvador Dali painting. Yes, I'm doing it based on, yeah, all of Dali's paintings. I'm doing like a flaming giraffe. I'm doing like the Melty Clocks. I'm doing... <clears throat> I'm doing, um, yeah, hold on, I was going to say something and I totally forgot what it was. I forgot. Oh, oh, wait, one thing, one thing, one thing. Whoops. So I made a whole outfit of it, of this. But I realized I have a piece of it up here because the whole all of it is downstairs. This is what I was trying to show you guys on eBay. I don't remember the search terms you're supposed to use for it. So I will post them in the Discord if anybody is interested. Um, so I made this little... <laughs> I don't know what I was going for with this. But um, uh, I have a whole outfit made of these like little chandelier pieces. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I think that you can make some really easy like earrings. I got a ton of this for like 20 bucks. Like a whole... like 
bag of it for 20 bucks on eBay. Um, I'll post the search terms. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, yeah. Yeah. Chandelier beads. Yeah, something like that. Um, I think my, I think I'm just looking in the wrong department. It's possibly the issue. Yeah, so things like that. Uh, eBay is just a great resource. Okay, okay. Um, uh, make a list of everything of your concept. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 honestly, I, <laughs> uh, have insomnia, um, and I lie awake at night, and, um, I will be thinking about stuff, and then something will come to me, and I'll open up my, like, Google Doc that I have on my phone, and I'll just, like, write it down, and, um, that's how I come up with ideas. That's the entire story. I'm sorry. It's not interesting. <laughs> um, no problem, fam. The hit, uh, the hit pieces are panniers. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know how to pronounce these things. Yes, very true. A bustle is typically in the back. Yes, a corn lining is usually a full-style skirt. Thank you so much. I'm not, I don't know the historical, like, terms or, like, accurate terms. I just use it, and I'm ignorant. So thank you for helping me. I appreciate it. Um, do you do photography? Yes. I take a lot of my own photos. Um, I actually have a panel tomorrow about taking photos about, <laughs> about taking photos of yourself. So come tomorrow. It's uh, selfies 101 photography. I don't know. It's something. I can tell you how I take pictures of myself. I did it last time, but I tried to fit it onto half an hour, and it just was too much. It was too much to fit. So I'm going to have a long, uh, longer <laughs> this time. Uh, also, teardrop beads, chandelier beads, that all might work. Pendant, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At your doctor, I would like to prescribe you two shots of whiskey before you go to bed to help with insomnia. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. That's how I get all my ideas. <laughs> but that's also why I feel awful today, because I stayed up till like, 7 a.m. because I was so nervous about this panel. I was like, I can't sleep. Um, <laughs> uh, wow, you're super creative, and your enthusiasm and talented. Your enthusiasm is such an inspiration. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You mean selfies? Self-portraits. Yeah, selfies. I have a panel on selfies tomorrow, so check it out. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Moonbow Puffs. That's so sweet. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I don't know a lot about the history of skirt volume enhancers, but it is long and complex. <laughs> yes, very true. Child, why? What child? What did I do? What happened? Uh, don't worry, you're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Malky. Hello. You think I did a great job? Oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I appreciate it. I was a little nervous, you guys. I was a little nervous. I'm sorry for the delayed response. I was washing dishes. I love what you said about using someone else's words to express yourself. That's why you make your own pieces. Yes. Get sleep. Thank you. I will try my best. <laughs> um, oh, child, why? Why well, I sit up till like 7 a.m.? Yeah. I don't know. I just, I can't sleep very well. It's just the thing. It's talent I don't possess. I've written down a lot of tips. Awesome. I am going to, if you, I'm going to save this stream and put it on my YouTube. It'll be there and it'll also be on my Twitch. So here, let me, um, here's my YouTube. My Twitch is here. You can follow me here. Um, oh, is it not going to show up my YouTube? Just kidding. There's my YouTube, hopefully. It's also below on my stream. Um, yeah, so if you want to see the stream again, do that. You can PM me on Insta. I respond to all messages. If I don't respond, you can message me again. Why isn't that working? I don't know why that didn't work. Whatever. That's my Instagram. You can PM me. Ask me how to make anything. Yes, I do commissions. I do commissions. Um, yeah, happy to talk to you about. Um, yeah, I'll link in the Discord. Happy to talk to you about whatever you want to make. Um, and I'm super honest and upfront about whether um, I feel like it's cheaper for you to make it yourself. Like, if you ask me to make you something, I'll be like, listen, this is super easy. Here's how you can make it yourself. Um, if you still want me to make it, I'm happy to do it, but I'm also happy to answer questions for free. I just want the fashion community to expand, express yourself, live your dream. Um, if Can somebody drop the, can you drop the um, Facebook group again? Um, you can also post questions there. Um, you can promote yourself, post your social links, whatever you want to do any day of the week on in my group. 
I think we almost have 500 members. I'm really excited about it. Um, what else? Yeah, just post your creations, post your fashion, post your costumes, post whatever you put on your body to express yourself. Yes, there is the Facebook group. Live your dreams. Join my group if you want to. Yeah, does anybody have any questions? Again, PM me if you have any questions. I'm so, I love helping people create. It's like my passion. I've been so fun. I'm so glad that you had fun, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, I stream almost, I stream several times a week making stuff, always answering questions. I just want everyone, everyone to love themselves and love what they make and love what they wear. Fashion is just a, an important thing, has been an important thing to express ourselves throughout history. So let's keep moving forward with fashion. Keep, keep it keep evolving. It needs to grow and breathe and be personalized um, because that's how things survive into the future. We want J fashion and we want like Lolita, we want like all types, all fashions, historical fashion to last for years and years and years. And that happens by just, you know, making it personalized, making it new, pushing the boundaries, making it your own because you're the next generation. <laughs> Fruits Magazine might be gone, but we will have our own thing that the future generations will be like, wow, those were the days. So yeah, any any last questions? I think we have two minutes left, right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Rip fruits, rip, rip fruits, rip fruits. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm just gonna chill out. <laughs> I'm tired now, you guys. <laughs> I hope that this was super informative to all of you. You have some buffer time? Cool, cool, cool. So if anybody has any questions, let me know right now. I'll think if there's anything else. Um, what's the biggest wardrobe piece you've made? Biggest in terms of size? I think that that was my Marie Antoinette cake. The like, the skirt part was like really big. You want to see Cream Puff and Marshmallow? Come here, babies. Come here. You want to say bye? Mm. Yeah, the skirt was just huge. Like really big. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, she does not want to say bye right now. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Wait, come bring Marshmallow. Hello, Marshmallow. Say hi, Marshmallow. Say hi. You just have moppy. I haven't given her a haircut in a while because, you know, quarantine and everything. So, yeah, she can still she can barely see. Poor thing. I'm gonna cut her hair myself. Um, have you heard about? <clears throat> Um, what inspires you to make something? Is it just the potential of a crafting item? Is it a dream or, um, I'd say it's a concept. I will just... <laughs> Sorry, let's go with the... I would say I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just have a concept. I'm like, ooh, I want to wear a sandwich. And then I'll wear a sandwich. I'm sorry. I'm like really bad at answering this question because... I don't know, I just, I just, I think of it while I'm like having insomnia. That's honestly the full story. Um, have you read about the big wardrobe where a uh, fashion museum in Australia? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh, I'll look that up after the stream. That sounds amazing. This is a great panel. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys loved it. Hi, Marshmallow. Marshmallow says hi too. Wearable Art Museum. Wow, I can't believe I have never heard of this because... Wow, that sounds great. I will go find it. Um, you have great outfits and also great dogs. Thank you. <laughs> I am proud of my baby dogs. They're adorable. Um, also troublemakers. I love them to pieces. Um, mop doggy. Yes, mop doggy. Best dog mom. Thank you, you guys. Wow. Yeah, again, PM me. Do I'm happy to help with anything. Join my group. Follow my Instagram. Uh, go to my YouTube. Subscribe if you want to. Um, uh, the, the stream will be here on Twitch. I stream regularly. Yeah. Thank you all so much. I am so honored to be a part of this um, this virtual convention. I'm honored to be able to, um, I don't know, teach the little things that I've learned along the way, all the mistakes that I've made. You know, um, tomorrow I'll be teaching selfies 101. Um, it will be a lot better than last time. Um, 
yeah, I will show you how to take really great selfies for cheap and how to make more great set pieces. So yeah, I think that I'm good. If you guys want to move on to your next panelist, I'm sure that they are going to be awesome and amazing, just like every single one of you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> so yeah, check out my streams in the future if you want to see more details and how I make stuff. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll stick around for like five more minutes if you guys have any more questions, if you guys want. So you are awesome. Thank you guys so much. I love this community. Um, I don't think there needs to be like, it always, it always makes me sad when there's drama within this community because I think that everyone here is just like phenomenal people, creative, open-minded, just like really sweet, amazing, lovely people. So yeah, <laughs> except for simplicity. <laughs> Get the fuck out, simplicity. <laughs> Yeah, I miss Truffle Drama doesn't need to happen. I agree. So true. We can be adults, right? We're going to switch over to mainstream now, but feel free to continue streaming and answering questions since you're on your own channel. Yes, sounds great. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Can't wait to show you guys how to take great pictures of the new things that you are going to make. Do it. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Say bye, Marshmallow. Say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Yes, thank you. Thank you all. I'm, I hope that this helped you. I hope that this helped you. Bye. So long. Farewell. I'll be just saying goodbye. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad it was inspirational. So long. Farewell. I'll be just saying goodbye. Feel free to keep asking questions if you want to ask questions. Oh, and let me drop some links in the Discord. I'll drop some links. What links should I drop? I don't know what links I should drop. World of Wearable Art is the name, I think. Oh, yeah, they have a Facebook group. Yeah, of course. You're a streamer and you teach people how to solo lead up. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yes, I'd love to be friends. Let's be friends. That's so great. Let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll host you. I love to put people on my auto-hosting list. So, especially if you make fashion stuff, I would love to, yeah. I'd love to put you on my thing. I'm going to drop um, my Instagram. So you guys can PM me with any questions. Um... Oh, you use Ultimano sewing books? Oh, cool. I I remember in the days of Gothic Lolita Bible and, like, uh, how they would have patterns in it, and I, I never used them. <laughs> but, like, they were, there was a great, that was a great resource, I feel. <laughs> like, that's so cool that they did that. Um, I'm going to drop some links. And it's in the, you have all Gothic Lolita Bibles for patterns alone. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. I think, I don't know where mine are. I like went to college and I don't know what I did with them. I think I sold them. I don't, I don't remember. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't remember what I did. <laughs> That's really sad. I think, I think I sold them. I think I sold them when I went to college. Um, I love them though. I just college, you know. I didn't want to bring them to college and have them ruined. Okay, I'm going to... Then, oh my gosh, so many of you requested to be in my group. That's amazing. I'm so happy. I'm going to drop the group in the Discord as well. Dropping the group. Um, what other links should I put? Yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions. I have to eat breakfast soon, though, or else I will pass out. Tell me about your projects too. I'd love to, I'd love to see, I have a discord. Oh, I have a discord. I have a personal discord from my channel. Um, why isn't it showing up my discord? I'll drop my discord in the thing. Why aren't my links working? I don't know, um, but I have a discord from my own personal channel if you guys want to chat with me or like see when I'm streaming next, but I also post it on Insta, so it's no worries. Um, yeah. Any last questions? Then I'm going to fly away and eat food.
like a good human being. So I'm crazy apparently and don't sleep. You guys say goodbye? Oh my gosh, what are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, my dog was gonna eat this. It's fine. You're so welcome, you're so welcome. Okay, I think I will end the stream. I don't wanna take up any, any more of your time. <laughs> I'll miss you, don't leave, Oh, <laughs> I'll probably stream later. I have a lot of commissions to do. You love my fork and strawberry? I love my fork and strawberry. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's my favorite crop. I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably, I'm going to be doing, oh, I forgot to plug. Follow my Insta because I will be releasing a line of forks and sweets, like big forks with strawberries and peaches and like blueberries on the ends. I'm going to be making small ones like this big and like the big ones like I have, you know, commissioning. I'll probably charge like one to three hundred dollars. Not really sure what ballpark I'm going to, I'm going to have to calculate materials and stuff and time. Yeah. <laughs> You have to be prepared to fork over your money for those. Yeah, I'm going to do like cream, whipped cream, glitter. It's going to be great. Okay, you guys. I'm going to sign off because you guys have to go to your next panel. But I love all of you. PM me if you need help. Happy to help. Join my Facebook group. Do it. Make your, make your dreams come true. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. I will upload this to YouTube today. Stay kawaii as fuck. <laughs> yes, thank you all for the follow. Thank you, thank you to everyone who followed me. I appreciate every single one of you. So, yeah. Okay, I think they stopped hosting me. Yes, take care. Take care, everyone. Take care. Yes. I will stream again, like, later today. Let me see. What link should I post? I'm going to post... That post Instagram. Yeah. I wish my camera wasn't so washed out. Does anybody have any projects they want to talk about? I just want to do this right now before I forget. Okay, so I'm posting my Instagram. I posted my Instagram in the Discord and it didn't link. So, I will post it again. There you guys go. Are all of these viewers just from... Are, I don't think they're hosting me anymore. So all of you guys just clicked over. I appreciate you clicking over to my channel. Let me go through and thank everyone that followed me and then I will sign off. Okay. Wow, we have so many people. Wow, I don't know if I can pick all of you guys. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh my god, okay, maybe I can't do this. Uh, yes, thank you, Virtual Fashion Track. Virtual Techno Fashion Track, thank you for the follow. Yeah, Unrated Horror, A True Elsewhere, Nina, Simone, Y, Lennon, Y. Oh my gosh, I want to read these just for the, for the great usernames. Uh, Monodramatic, that's a great username. Uh, thank you for the follow. Cupcake and Lace. Perfect. Bright Blue Ink. Very nice. Very artsy. Dear Sylvian. Nice. Everstar Dink. Okay. Mint. Mint. Shalar. Shalar? Thank you for the follow. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, Murakashi. Murakashi. Murasaki. Murasaki. Uh, Kogane. Darkling, I listen. Ooh, edgy. I like it. Miss Carol Bell. Oh, Ginger. Ginger Hinger. Oh my gosh, that's a great username. Ginger Hinger. I love it. Thank you. Uh, do, 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 Lady Kylan, Black Rebel, Momaru, 81, Ew, 05561. I relate to that mood, you guys, mood. Linda Wicked, Momoka, wow, there's so many of you. Okay, I, I will, I'm almost done. D, D, 
Creepy Ore, Dizzy Decadence, Lady Creeperella, Liz Kittith, Adora Bibble, I love it, Teacup Cup, Vincent Dickey, Mirai, uh, Cable Cap 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 Guys, I'm so tired. I can't even speak English <laughs> or read English. Dry Dryer Wolf. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. So today I will be streaming, making more of these like horses. I'm doing a circus commission. I'm doing like a carousel. I'm planning on bringing the sushi backpack from Fortnite into the real world. Does that count as wearable art? Yes, it does. Sushi backpack. That sounds great, actually. That should totally be a trend. Sushi backpack. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, so I'll be streaming later today because I have like a huge commission that I'm working on. Um, it's like a Ferris wheel skirt. I've seen a lot of people do Ferris wheel skirts, but I want to make mine special. Uh, I have this uh, 3D printed elephant. I love elephants so much. I'm very happy with this elephant. Um, and then I have like a ballerina that I'm going to do as a tightrope walker. I have like a little bear. Um, I'm going to like suspend them within this skirt. And it's going to be like a, like you're going to look in. And there's, I'm going to put little lights hanging up on the inside. And it'll light up and you'll, you'll see all these like acts all around. Yeah, I really undercharge for this commission too. Um, so <laughs> I'm just putting like my heart and soul into it and I'm getting paid like probably less than $5 an hour <laughs> for all the work that I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, PM me if you guys want commissions. I have a pretty long, I have a really long commission list right now. Um, but I take payment plans, whatever payment plan you want. Um, I hate, I hate signing off because there's so many viewers, but I feel like I should go. Let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, that's all. I will be streaming, I think, tonight at about 5 p.m. If you guys want to come back and chat, happy to have you guys. I'll be making stuff. I'll answer any questions. 5 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> I'm in Texas, so, yeah. Also, oh, let me just plug Bombshell Accessories for these amazing earrings. Look at these. Self-love. Love them. This is Bombshell Accessories. You should totally go support them. They're like a tiny little brand, but they are wonderful. You're in New Mexico? That's super cool. I want to move to Vegas. It's not, that's not very close to New Mexico. I was going to visit New Mexico for my, um, for my birthday, but I didn't because of the freaking coronavirus. I was going to go to the White Sands National Park and do um, photo shoots there. Um, only improve meant would be using UV reactive paint for the earrings. Yes, yes. Yeah, that would be really cool. UV reactive paint. Yeah, we have our own Las Vegas. It's not as fun though. White Sands is amazing. Yeah, I really want to go. I'm gonna. I'm, I'll still go to White Sands, but it'll have to be like later whenever it's safer. I have a lot of ideas. I mean, we have deserts in Texas, but not white sand. Is it really white? Like, is it really, like, perfect white? <laughs> uh, sand is white because all... Oh, wow. That's so cool. No, I definitely have to go. We had, we had like, a hotel booked and everything. I was really sad. Anyway, okay. By all my new friends. Come back today at 5 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and I will be working on my stuff, doing my thing, and come back tomorrow at 11. Um, I will let you know when I'm in town. Yeah, yeah, I will definitely let you know. Perfect. Let me um, see what time my panel is tomorrow. Yeah, I got ready yesterday. I was like, I, I was already ready to go yesterday at this time. And I realized that it was the wrong day. So, oh my gosh, tomorrow my panel is earlier. It's at 10.30 Eastern time. It's okay, I'll be awake. Yeah. I'll see you guys then. I'll teach you guys how to take great selfies. So that all of you will show your true beauty in the way that everyone can see how beautiful you are. Okay, I'm super hungry and tired. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for the follow. I love all of you. Live your dream, wear, wear your heart on your body.